Louis Vuitton, and much, much more. Let's get straight into it with a market update. All righty. All right, so as we were saying, K together, we have seen a pullback definitely um, on NFT volume over here. So if we have a look at OpenSea's daily volume, um, let's just do it here rather. We got 12 million yesterday, Blur 12 million, X2Y2 1.5 million, CryptoPunks 1.25 million, Immutable X 1 million, and looks rare 370k. If you add that all together, you get just under 30 million. It's going to be interesting what happens to Blur's volume because on the 14th of February, they've got this whole token drop. And a lot of the trading that's going through Blur, I think, is for guys who are trying to get the, the token. Um, so it's going to be very interesting next week after they've done that drop to see where Blur is because they've been level with OpenSea pretty much for the last month, almost every day, sometimes beating them a bit, sometimes a bit under them if we have a look over here at the markets here you can see they have recovered slightly um from when i was looking a bit earlier but if we have a look here like tech side of things is down across the board on average i would say probably about 0.75 percent um uh, finance is looking pretty neutral retail trade amazon down about one percent but walmart up about one percent energy looking quite strong but consumer services commercial services and consumer durables all down manufacturing looking good health technology actually looking really good um and electronics looking very very down we've got nvidia down six percent almost if we have a look over here you can see that Bitcoin has fallen 2.5% in the last 24 hours. Uh, sorry, uh, Ethereum has fallen 2.5% in the last 24 hours, $1,540. Bitcoin sitting at $21,790. Solana at $20, just, just under $21 over there. Um, so we've definitely seen, as we were saying, this pullback. Do you have random alts pumping? Um, you know, anything to do with AI at the moment seems to be pumping, which is quite interesting. And I think, you know, we've got to say, why is this happening? So the biggest catalyst is that we had Kraken, an exchange, shutting down staking. So Kraken basically has been in uh, uh, talks with the SEC. Um, they were being investigated and they've officially now settled with the SEC. And you can see almost directly in response to that, ETH automatically moved from $1,626 to $1,572 when that happened. Mm -hmm. And the big thing was because Coinbase CEO, CEO Brian Armstrong, tweeted that we're hearing rumors that the SEC would like to get rid of crypto staking in the US for retail customers. So basically the retail investors who really have a lot of money and are able to drive markets could possibly not be allowed um, to invest in any coin which has staking as a part of it, which is quite a lot of them. Um, so, you know, this is something that we need to continue watching. Obviously, it's not yet official, but usually, usually with this sort of stuff, where there's smoke, there is fire. And when you start to hear rumblings from big people and reputable people like Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong, together with the news that Kraken has agreed to settle with the SEC, and part of that settlement was that they shut down their staking, then you can put two and two together and say that that's probably what's going to end up happening. Damn, dude. Well, okay, so first off, ETH did not crash that hard. So one, that's like, that's cool because, you know, it's interesting. Yes, like a lot of retail has gotten in very, you know, very recently in the last couple of months, but there are so many like, uh, like what crypto, crypto hard believers that are here right now. So it's interesting that that news didn't crash way harder. Then if it was a well, it's, it's not official news, right? If I think if the news was the SEC coming out saying that, I think you would see even now you would see a massive crash. At the moment, it's it's Coinbase CEO saying that he thinks that this might happen, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, I just uh, with, with any kind of like centralized entity, when any kind of news like this comes out, I feel like a lot of people have just kind of run for the hills the second it comes out, just because what happened with FTX and Celsius and all these other companies. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on the whole thing? The weird thing for me was this story, with the Coinbase CEO coming out and saying, I heard some stuff. It's like, well, what? <laughs> what, what do you mean you heard yeah. some stuff? Like, it's not even legal for you to say like that? Like, you know what I mean? 
It's possible. Like if if I think about uh, you know any industry, like if you think of us as as YouTubers or whatever you want to call us in the NFT space, we all sort of talk to each other. So like for example, if if Kraken CEO spoke to Coinbase CEO and said, look, you know we've we've settled with the SEC, but uh, you know he, my uh, Kraken guy saying my feeling is that the SEC is going to end up banning this. Um, you know that could be what he means. So he can't maybe say his source, but I doubt he would have tweeted about about it unless his source was a very very reputable one you know mm -hmm. um i don't think he would have tweeted about it but i think he can't divulge his source so i do think that you know the, the, where there's smoke there's potential fire we do know that the fea uh, that the sec has been on edge since ftx um you know obviously we had three arrows we had luna we, I, i'm not going to rattle them off but a lot before that and they now have mud on their face because guys are saying hold on what where is the sec in all of this yeah. why has this been allowed to happen so they're definitely going to want to make some very big moves whether they're able to or not is another story so let's just say you know i don't know how the laws work there um in the states but let's just say the sec says we now are not allowing retail investors to invest in in crypto which is state are, are, can someone take them to court i mean can companies take them to court and and query that and and say that's that's illegal yeah because that's that's what would happen yeah if, if something crazy like that happens yeah and i think any 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 country with a good judicial system they'll be taken to court um and uh, you know they might have to n put that on hold the fact that they're banning it until the court case is heard and, and finalized so i think we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves um but everyone's got ps psd right uh, post-traumatic stress pts <laughs> from uh, from uh, from what went on with FTX, Luna, and all the rest of that. And you can't blame us. Um, anyone in the space, you know, uh, just over a year ago, we were looking at Bitcoin at 60,000, you know, and Ethereum at 4,000. So we've been through proper trauma in this place. So yeah, at, at any sign of any problem, you do see that people are like scared as hell. And that's what's making the market so volatile. And it's not just the crypto markets, but we're seeing that with the stock exchange as well. Everyone, because the stock exchange is the same thing. It went down almost 50% last year, right? Yeah. So guys are scared and guys are, are, are scared that it's going to happen again. But what's interesting speaking about the crypto stuff, and th this is really, really uh, something that I'm excited to discuss with you, Cade. Um, the, the, these Bitcoin NFTs are 